Hi everybody, Jonathan here. I'm here with another unboxing and review for you. Um, you can see my, my setup. I've kind of updated it here. I've been putting the uh, photos on Instagram and stuff. You might have seen the, the setup on uh, the YouTube a little bit earlier. But today we've got, we're back to unboxing. We're back to a review and I'm super excited. This is a birthday present that I got myself this year. My birthday was a couple weeks ago. I'm 39. Woohoo! Um... <laughs> Uh, and it took a while to get here because we had some bad snow and stuff like that, but it's finally here. I get to open it and review it, and it is the Undertaker. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Um, this is pretty close to the Undertaker I saw debut, except the one that the one that debuted, of course, had the the mullet and a few other things. But this is really close to that classic one. Um, I know this isn't from that era, but it really reminded me of that. Um, we can see the packaging here. Really nice image here from on the on the side and the back. Um, for over 30 years, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so let's open this guy up and let's take a look at him. All right, get this guy out. There's your carnage. Yeah, look at that carnage. Okay, The Undertaker. Let's take a look at his accessories. Um, he's got the mask here. It's um, softer than I expected it to be. Um, it actually is kind of, kind of very flexible. That's good. That means it won't break. I'm just going to put this in here. You can see I've got the... Kind of a variation on the biker taker here. I took the Ministry of Darkness head and put it on his uh, American Badass. Because I hated the American Badass head, but I hated the uh, Ministry of Darkness body. I just did not like that armor at all. I bought that on a whim. Um, all right, let's take out his jacket here. Whoops. And I'll take a look at that real quick like. Let's see. Cloth, so that's good. Okay, it's got a pretty good gut to it. But that's, that's not a bad looking jacket for a uh, an elite figure. All right, of course he's got the, the choke slam hands in the package. But we're gonna pop the dude out here. Be careful with his hat. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, the hat, the hat kind of stayed in there. So let's grab that. I'm, gonna put, I'm not gonna throw that away yet because it still has those hands in there. Um, oh yeah, the hat goes on just fine. Oh yeah, oh my god. That is amazing. Alright, let's see if we can put this jacket on him real quick. Uh. Oops. How's that? It's okay. We can get in a minute. Oof. I can get his arms through this. Let's get this through first. Right, there's one. There we go. Yeah, I just put on one arm at a time and it goes on pretty easy. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, hang on. Let me grab this hat. I'm going to do some straightening here. Put that down. Get his hair. Now it's starting to look right. Now we're starting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the, the tie comes off. It's just elastic on there, so that's nice. I like that. I don't like that they have this rubber band thing on his torso, though. Uh, I've got a knife somewhere. Let's see. Uh, oh, crud. Where's the ears? Ah! I'm just gonna. Cut this real quick. There we go. Pull that out the back. Yeah. Okay. Keep his uh, tie down there. All right. He's got the jacket on. Let's get his hat on. Oh my god. Yeah. Look at that. 
I am so excited for this guy. I already have some storylines in, in mind for him. Um, I am, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's take this jacket off. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Um, so we can know the ins and outs of it. It's really long hair mold. Like a really long. Oh, my cats are fighting. Down the middle of his back. Um, the, yeah, it looks like the tie does come off. But it doesn't look like you're really meant to take it off. Um, of course, you know, back then he did wrestle a lot with this on. Um, the face itself, oops, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's really good, actually. Like, you can really get some detail. The hair's a little bit wonky here in the front with those... Um, Brett Hitman heart bangs um, that that are now all the rage. Like everybody has the Hitman hair now. Um, the greasy Jesus now is what it is because they all have beards too. Um, but yeah, this guy is this guy's pretty righteous. Pretty righteous. It's got the tattoos. Um, the shirt is molded on, so it, it's not something that comes off. Um, the colors, God, the colors are just beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Um, the boots, the boot covers, everything I, I really like. Um, these are a little bit weird, kind of misaligned, but that's not really that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I don't really see, I don't have any issues with this really. Uh, the, the only thing I, I, I might change is the hair a bit, but that's, that's really it. This is, this is a sweet ass figure. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put him in the ring here. Let's get him dressed again though. Let's get him dressed again. Back in his jacket. Might help if it was right side out, right? Okay. Man. Karma for never doing that as a kid. <laughs> I always just take off my clothes and throw them down. I was one of those kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm going to him down just for a second. Okay. Get the hat on him. Boom. All right, I'm going to step up into the ring here. Or step up into the picture so I can get him in the ring. Oh, yeah. Come on, bud. There we go. Stand's pretty easy. The one-hand stand test is a pass. Um, I'm going to take the camera off now. Get a closer look of him in the ring, sneaking up on himself. Man, that guy looks so cool. Excellent, excellent. All right, so that's the Undertaker. Um, really awesome. I'm super happy with this. This is from the Legends Series Nine. Um, this is only available at Target. I got it on the app. There's also the Million Dollar Man. Um, well, let's look at it. It's actually not Million Dollar Man in this set. Yeah, it is. It's Million Dollar Man, Tatanka, and uh, Nikolai Kolov. I'll probably get the Million Dollar Man. Uh, but the next Series 10 actually has two different uh, Brutus Beefcakes. And you know how much I love Brutus Beefcakes, so I have to get both of those. Uh, but yeah, that's the review for Undertaker Legends Series 9. Super awesome. Really, really highly suggest it for collectors. Um, but even if you don't like it, that's fine. Just make sure that you keep collecting. See you guys.